I'm doing a Z talk with ANZ right now. There's investors in the room that's tuned in. There's uh, bankers, there's financial advisors, there's accountants, there's builders, there's developers, there's uh, all sorts of people that's just tuned in or whoever that's actually interested in what's happening with the marketplace right now. And I'll be specifically talking, uh, be talking about the current market trends and has COVID impacted our marketplace, where to invest, how to, uh, how to invest, and obviously create an exit strategy if you are investing money. And that's exactly what I'll be talking about. And also about personal branding, get zold with Z, because these guys are about to get zold with Z. And Z, thank you for having me. no introduction at all. He is none other than Zed Sheik, who is the Principal Director of Zed Real Estate. Um, now you may have already seen or heard of Zed before. He's been featured all over our television networks, um, Channel 7, Channel 9, Channel 10, just to, say, um, just to name a few. Uh, the list goes on. Um, and, and a strong social media influencer as well. So Zed will be discussing the market trends, um, the term ROI, so return on investment, uh, and how he and his team in, um, help their investor portfolio as well. So I know that we're all extremely excited uh, to hear Zed's pieces. Thank you, Zed, for um, coming on tonight. Thank you for having me, Krish. I appreciate it. The word real estate, what does the word real estate mean? It means land and location. And if you've got that, you're safe. And a lot of people think that they get into real estate, they think it's a short-term investment. It's actually a long-term investment. I have thousands of clients that I get thousands of phone calls every single month saying, Zed, how do I invest? Where do I invest? And how do I invest? And what's my best return my investment? The first thing that I actually tell them is, is do you have goals? People, if we, if we use the word Trump, let's just say the name Trump, for example, in here. Now, Trump is known as the most powerful or the, the most influential person in the world. Why is he rich? He's not rich cash wise. He's rich asset wise. It's always a good time to buy, as long as there's an objective, as long as there's an exit plan. Uh, is the market gonna drop tomorrow? Is it gonna go up? Regardless of whatever it is, so if you've got a little bit of cash, depending on your borrowing capacity, depending on your pre-approval, depending on uh, you know what you're after, is it a place of principle that you're after? So if it's a place of principle, who cares what the marketplace is doing? Just go out there, buy something. But if it's an investment property, you should always do your due diligence and then look at the return on your investment, do, look at some comparable market analysis, look at what your neighbor's property sold for. I mean, nowadays we're fortunate that everything's exposed online, so you'll be able to look at uh, the differences between uh, apartments, townhouses, houses, and how to invest in those specific properties. So the time to invest now is now, because time is the only thing that we can't buy. And did you know that there's only 86,400 seconds in a day and 10,080 minutes in a week? So. The time to buy is right now, my friend, because who knows who's going to be dead or alive because if you're going to die, you might as well die in a big house. That's my philosophy in life. Land is where your value's at. And if you do want to invest into a property, if it's a house or land package, make sure it's got two dual living uh, areas, uh, formal lounge, informal or family dining, and make sure the ceilings are high. So when you do decide to sell the specific uh, place of principle or investment property, uh, your product or your house will stand out from the marketplace. Residential real estate or commercial real estate is a long-term investment. And properties in Australia, they double up every seven to 10 years. So I can't understand some of the consumers I get, the people that I get that they expect to walk into a property the next minute they think the property market has boosted. From what the information that these two lovely guys have just shared, that means our property market is safe. The stats are great, but I'm gonna share, share the information on what sort of feedback do we get, what type of properties are selling quicker, what is it, what's the difference between an apartment, land development, or an existing or established home, or are you better off flipping a house? Rule number one, you gotta stay away, if you're investing money in real estate, you gotta stay away from apartments. In the last 12 years that I've invested money, I've per personally invested money in an apartment as well, it's worth the same price as what I paid for it 10 years ago. Apartments are great for lifestyle purposes. And if you do want to live in, for example, the areas within 10 kilometers of CBD, they're also great for, in terms of lifestyle. It brings you amazing cash flow. But if you do look at the capital growth, there isn't much growth out there. You've got townhouses. The second option is if you want to live in an area like South Area, Turak, or uh, Brighton, whichever area that you do want to live into and you can't afford to buy a house, townhouse is your second best option. It still gives you a great cash flow, but in terms of capital growth, the growth isn't as good as 
what a house would give you. And real estate means land and land and land and land. And that's why you see most of the, the millionaires and the billionaires, they invest in land. I've met thousands of people and hundreds of clients that I've dealt with over the last 12 years that they've specifically made their money via land because the best investment on planet Earth is land and Earth itself because God doesn't make land anymore. So you should always be investing in land. The numbers we're getting has dropped. I used to get five to 10 to 15 people through my open for inspections and now we're getting just one or twos. So that means something that market is starting to change. The market is started to slow down a little bit. 10 properties in the last seven days right now. And I keep putting them on regardless whether it's Christmas, whether it's, uh, you know, um, New Year's, whatever it is. There is no such thing as, you know, when the market goes up, I'm going to invest money. You invest money when you're ready to invest money. Because at the end of the day, there's a risk in everything we do in life. At the end of the day, real estate, we're all born with risk. The day you're born, there's a risk. The day you get married, there's a risk. The day you have kids, you don't even know if it's gonna come out healthy or not. So there's a risk in everything. Risk is involved all around us. So if you've got a mentality, think that you're gonna walk into a real estate transaction and there won't be any risks involved, you're in the wrong field and you're already starting the wrong path. And every single person, I just closed a $60 million deal in Port Melbourne and I didn't advertise it. And I can tell you right now, you may be thinking the market's slow, but think about that million or that billion that's just invested, that's just put $60 million. How do you think his mindset works? The best way to make money right now is obviously I'm not an accountant. I've raised capital personally myself. I've done my due diligence. I've looked at the comparable sales. I look at my return, my investment. If it's, a, if it's me walking into, a, depending obviously what type of budget you have, if it's just a $600,000 budget, I walk into a house and I buy it for $450,000 and I probably spend about twenty dollars to $30,000. Again, connections are important because at the end of the day, every single time, if it's a trader you're dealing with, if it's a broker you're dealing with, if it's people from ANZ you're dealing with, it's a long-term relationship. You have to build that relationship because at the end of the day, those people will see your vision and they will invest back into your vision. If your budget is $600,000, buy something at $450,000 within 40 kilometers out of Melbourne CBD. It could be, it could be Point Cook, it could be uh, Clyde, it could be where Southeast, Northern Suburbs, Western Suburbs, wherever it is. It, you walk in there, you invest about $30,000 and put it back on the market at $600,000 to $660,000. All of a sudden, within 15 months time, because you flip the property, it's worth uh, six to six sixty, so you're looking at about eight eighty thousand dollar capital growth already. There is people out there that invest all the eggs in one basket as well. They buy a three three million dollar property or four million dollar property, and they turn their place of investment or their place of principal and, and investment, and then they use the capital because some people they say, you know what, I love this house, and I want to be able to wake up to a house where I love it, and I want to put all my eggs in one, one basket. So once I live in this place of principal, I can use the equity equity to be able to buy. Uh, other properties out there. So I always advise people to fix up your base first, stop investing money into other houses whilst you're renting. So if you're renting right now, you think about investment, look, each to their own. I personally don't do it like that. Fix your base, use that base, raise enough equity, and if you bought good, go out there and be able to invest other properties out there. And the money isn't in selling good. Yes, it's great, but actually money is in buying good. So you have to build a good relationship with real estate brokers, financial advisors, and if you do want to buy, God is dead real estate. <laughs> we use social media to leverage off, and this is exactly where our world's to, uh, heading towards. We market houses, we brand, we focus on branding, and my aim right now is to build generational wealth. And the only way I can do that is via investing good money in good pockets. So if you're an investor out there, and if you think, if you don't know what the, where the marketplace is heading towards, as far as I know, if you've got land, you're safe. Yeah, it may slow down a little bit. I feel like it needed to slow down a little bit because the market was going crazy. The minute I put up a house in the market, within 24 to 48 hours, it would get sold. And to give you some facts on social media, so 9.9 .9 million Instagrammers, if you can write us down, 15 million active YouTubers, 15 million active Facebookers out there, 6.4 million LinkedIn people out there, and 4.6 million on Snapchat. That means every single person is on social media and I market houses on social media. You should be branding, talk about branding 24 seven. You should be reaching out to people that are uh, you know, selling commercial real estate on social media because you get some amazing off-market deals on social media. Why else would you sell a $20 million home or a $5 million home that you've worked so hard for, yeah? So the only way you would sell it is if you were to go your own ways. So the divorce rate has gone up and um, you know the market has gone crazy. People, people thought the market was gonna go down. But at the end of the day, Life is a risk. Invest in real estate and you got land, you're going to be safe, my friends. I've done my talking. Chris, thank you so much for having me. And if you got any Q&As, I'm here to help you guys out. Thank you. <laughs>